sorry i'm just really excited i'm just talking about the fact that i'm going to med school so before this round of applications for med school i'd applied for medicine twice i applied once when i was 17 that was when i was at school and in my final year of university and i got rejected twice i never even got to the point of an interview and i just thought i just thought within myself like because the year before i done like quite decent in my ucat but i still didn't get an interview and i was like something is missing i can't do this on my own i just like i need like, i need guidance i need i need an outside perspective like a professional outside perspective and i'd followed you um f docs i don't know i'd subscribed or something to the f doc um gmail or something since like since school maybe i think <laughs> and for some reason i think it was a godsend i'd seen like a re they'd emailed me in years about like a trial session or like a consultation and i just thought you know what let's give it a try like it's not gonna hurt to try something different this year i'm not gonna lie to you i came out of that consultation thinking this is the year like something about that conversation i think maybe the maybe the way dr ash believed in me just made me like gave me a new form of confidence that i could actually do this this year um because it wasn't that i never put in the work in the years prior i'd always did but it was just not enough it's just not enough simple but dr ash like had a session um and i remember i remember him saying that you're gonna get in this year like you've got everything that you need to get in you know your um personality matches your academics like you'll be fine and i was like okay let's do this <laughs> and we started and i think the guy just all through um up until him even allocating my mentor victoria shout out to you victoria because we could not have done this without you <laughs> victoria a godsend as well um just to help the tutoring the the sessions the extra commitments that i'd actually taken out of just um, my day-to-day -day commitments I, helped me with my applications um because in comparison to the years before i'd like do my ucat practice then closer to the time i'll start doing a bit more like personal statement stuff but with f dot they made us start they made us start a couple months before and i think that was quite good because i was able to i was able to add every single thing i needed to add in the right way to my personal statement and just getting someone professional to like read it kind of guide me um because my personal statement was never bad well objective objectively speaking was never bad but i think future doctors helped me tweak everything to the right to the way that it meant to be and i actually got interviews i got two interviews um one at warwick and the other at restore which were both graduate entry and that's what i was going for because i applied for two graduate entries and two undergraduate entries i wasn't really i didn't really want to do undergraduate because yeah I was I didn't want the extra year I didn't know how I was gonna fund it either it was just like a okay if push came to shove would find a way to work make it work but I'm very grateful very grateful because <laughs> I got enough at Warwick um but back to my journey I got an interview I got interviews um and just the whole interview process like learning you know how to structure your answers and body language and just little things like that that make it that take you from the top 70 to the top 90 percent <laughs> um, f doc helped with um and just helping with just everything like it's everything non non-medical in the sense not non non-technical if that makes any sort of sense <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just really excited i'm just talking about the fact that i'm going to med school it's just yeah i still can't believe it it still feels like a dream it's like somebody wake me up i'm awake and i know i'm awake <laughs> but yeah i'm just very grateful for all the help all the guidance all the just encouragement really like having somebody believe in you like off of just one conversation i don't even think it was up to an hour we had a conversation about my past um and related to med, med school applications and just i remember like dr ash is looking at me and telling me like yay yeah, like we can help you like i know you're gonna get in it's like how can someone look at me with my past experiences so a little background story actually and i think this is what i've struggled a little bit i only did five gcse's um 
because when I moved to the UK, I went to a college that did GCSE. So I didn't actually go through year 10 and year 11, I just went straight to year 11. And I could only do five GCSEs at this college. So um, I actually only have five GCSEs compared to, in comparison to my old counterpart parts that have like nine or like 11. <laughs> so I've always been at a disadvantage. So having someone like say to me, all of the things that you think are disadvantages to you, we can tweak that and turn that to your advantage. And it's worked. And I'm so grateful to God <laughs> because I could not have gotten over that with me for, I'm just very grateful. Thank you to every single person that did a UCAT, that did a, um, an interview session that everyone has read my personal statement, tweet my personal statement. Yeah, just thank you everybody. <laughs>